Hey everybody, day two in the motherland, loading up a small crew, very small crew to go walk a piece of fence that goes through a swamp. Usually trees will fall over the fence, smash it down. Cows could get out and there's a highway if they get out of the swamp. So that's bad for motorists and cows. We're gonna go try to make sure there's no holes in that fence. Come on, let's go. Look who is ready for some fence swamping adventure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got <laughs> Sissy, we got Rance. It's Ryler holding hey, down the I toolbox. Was, I was the one that built this fence, thank you very much. Yep, when Sissy was just a little girl, she built the swamp fence, but it takes lots of maintenance because there's always trees getting blown over by the hurricanes and smashing down the wire, letting cows go where cows are not supposed to go. <laughs> this is what you call that. <laughs> the official tool of Anchor Brand Ranch. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> Not sponsored, just the official tool. <laughs> One more try. Okay. The lovely thing about all these trees is they continuously fall on the fence and break the wall. Well, I'm not getting close enough to find out, but oh. that thing chases us, so I'm gonna kill you. I'm just gonna. Ah! He is poisonous. He is. Chop. It's not how you tell. The people behind us are gonna get him. Alright. Just killed him. Alright, let's go. Snake, killing a snake's not a good idea. Killing a snake's not a good idea? Uh-uh. What are you supposed to do with them? Trap them with a... What? Hey. What's that, babe? So what just happened right there was a case of mistaken identity. I guess I need to go back to Boy Scouts and learn about the Florida venomous snakes. I've seen a few big water moccasins. That little guy right there, I didn't recognize what he was and was kind of poking at him, giving him a chance at life, thinking he was not a venomous snake, and then he struck at my machete. So that was bad. I should have just chopped him in half right off the bat. I bet they're no good, huh? Don't know how you get one. If you can hit it. It's a goofy 
That's how you get orange juice. Is it wild oranges? The nasty? Taste it. Is it good? Uh, Here we have it. Just kidding. It's sour. He's a true, true Florida man. You ever found this tree before? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get the whole thing down and oh, you juice that thing. I'm trying to get the top so I don't just cut the orange, but it's too late. I guess. Sissy's making orange juice. <laughs> that is nasty, that's sour. That is really sour. Oh, look at that. Look at that tree over there. Full of them. You need to find a grapefruit tree. I don't know if to. Okay, we got work to do. Let's move forward. Can't be messing with every orange tree. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. What you got, Sissy? It's a rotten wire. It's a rotten wire. And look right here. Yeah. Cow tracks. Fairly Pretty new nice. ones. Fairly new ones. Crossing the fence. Look, evidence right here. What you got right there, Sissy? What's that off of? Tail. Cow's tail. What does that tell you? Some cows came through the fence. Man, this sissy is a Florida woods tracking, investigating. Uh, well, what now? I'll tell you what now. Ah, yeah. so oh, Ryler's got an idea. Fix the fence. Okay, let's go. Fixing the fence, or are we getting the cows? Well, we got to fix the fence first. Somebody's got to be cameraman. I'll have it. <laughs> I meant I was going to be camera person while you fix the fence. Just no, kidding here. No, okay. no we got to fix this. So this is where they're crossing. And look right there. It's all mangled up. This is the problem. So we have had reports of cattle getting out somewhere in this area. So the reason we came in here today is because there have been reports of cattle getting out into the neighbor's property and then out the front onto the highway. Hear that truck? We're not far from the highway right here.
So we didn't know, you know, for sure what we were going to find, but we needed to come and check it out. And this big messed up area where this tree has fallen across the fence, smashed it down. There's cow tracks crossing the fence right here. So this is, this is the problem we came to look for. That's the good news. The fun news is now time to fix it. But first, the kids say they've spotted a grapefruit tree out here in the woods. So we're going to check it out. Then let's get busy fixing this fence. Stop these cattle from crossing. Let's go check out that grapefruit. You want to check out that grapefruit, Austin? Ah, grapefruit in my eye. It looks like another sour orange tree. Oh shoot, they did, okay. The kids are right. Two grapefruit trees? Oh, same grapefruit tree. All right, check that out. You know, those semi trucks from rolling by just waiting to run over whatever cow got out over that fence. That's the spot we've been looking for, guys. That's caused the problem that we came to solve. So that's the good news. But we got to test these grapefruits first. So how are we going to get one? All right, we got one? Well, Sissy the softball lady is going to pitch one down with her softball skills. Okay, she's the catcher, not the pitcher. So. So if she does knock it down, she should be able to catch it, right, Sissy? Yeah. Throw your mask off and grab that thing before it hits the ground. All right, we got the batter, we got the catcher. Oh, strike one. Strike two. That was a foul, actually. Foul ball. Uh, oh, yeah. Got one. Oh, safe. Oh, catcher dropped the ball. All right. We're going to test that thing out. Yeah. All right. All right. Do you know which way to slice those? I found a whole bunch of them cut the wrong way in the kitchen. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it. I've been doing this my whole life. Okay. I have an expert. Anchor Brand Ranch internet expert here. How to cut up wild grapefruit. You knock that one on Sissy's head. You that one on my head, I'll kill you. I'll catch it. Tastes decent? I think, hold on. <coughs> Good one. We have a good grapefruit. Boom. We have a gr bruised grapefruit. That one ought to be nice and soft. Uh, we're going to sit down and have a grapefruit break. Then we got to fix that fence. Yeah, it tastes a little funny, but I can't tell if that's the mud from the machete. Yeah. Austin, does your mom watch Anchor Brand Ranch YouTube? Maybe she'll see your cousin feeding you with the blade of a sharp knife.
be mad. Your mom will be mad? Okay. You're the southern child. When she tries to watch Inger Brand Ranch, you don't let her, okay? She'll catch you eating off a knife blade. Good. Is it good? So good. Oh, that's really good. We need to fix the fence. We'll use up that wire that I got in that yellow bucket. Then we'll climb up in here. We'll get all these and fill up the bucket and take it out of here. Do you really like this one? That's the plan. We fix the fence. Then we fill our yellow bucket you can hear with bucket. grapefruits from this tree. Can you see the grapefruits up in the tree? They're way up there. That's a tall tree. Is there any chance that the orange tree next door would be good or think it's just nasty? So you got the grapefruit tree right there. That's the grapefruit tree. And then right over there, you'll notice an orange tree. Well, since we traveled 3,000 miles, we figured we'd fix some fence while we're down here. We have Two top wires that we still need, right? Or one more? And this is the second one down. Two top ones are broke. Yeah, but this is... We got one right here. He's got his fence stretchers. He's... Taking care of business. Yeah, pretty much. That's it's what I do. Take care of business. <laughs> yeah, and then we need one more. We're pretty close to the highway right now. So it's no good that the the cows got through right here, but it's good that we found out where it was and that we're fixing it, so. <laughs> Welcome to the tea party, ladies. <laughs> it's about time you show up. <laughs> Maybe a kid. <laughs> Well, Riley? bad news is you weren't here to help, but the good news is we found the problem we were looking for. See this right here? Cow trail across the fence. Look at this right here. Reggie! Reggie! Cows are on the highway? A while back we were, right? Every now and then they hop over. They hop over into here. Then they have to we seem to. do the whole gate. We okay. came back here, we redid everything a little while back. You guys and then. Yeah, Wait. So, in Brazil, I would see little boys have to climb way up in some tall trees to get fruit down. And what they do is take off their t shirt, so take off your t shirt and your shoes. You stick your feet in it. <laughs> Alright, here we'll use we'll use Reggie's shirt. Alright, who's the crying climber? Can I get in my belly? I can do it. Robbie probably can climb. I can't so remember exactly how to do this. Can I take this one off, Dad? No. Alright. Check out your socks too. Get on that side of the tree. Now right, stick your foot over here, stick your foot in this. Stick your foot right down in there. Put in here. So you can't really get hurt. Yeah, you can. Put down in there. Oh, right. okay. And you pull it tight against there and and climb now. 
It's kind of cool. Pull, pull, pull that tight. Yeah. Like and go up, stand up, then pull. Now hold on with your hands. Pull this up and get another bite. <laughs> you gotta be. See, if you pull this back, it tightens up. You can almost stand on it. <laughs> pull it back. Pull it back. Pull your feet back. Pull, pull it back where it tightens up. <laughs> I can't do it. Here. Ryler, come try this. Jeez. What? You got my shirt on. Sissy thinks she has a plan. It's all slippery from all that moss on there. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, you got one. Nice little wimpy one. That branch is dead, by the way. I have my plan from here. Yeah. Yeah, you're a long ways from the fruit, sis. Alright. There you go. Oh, there you go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, my foot is hurting. Oh, we're getting some. Here they come. Coming down. There's a lot more out on that other branch right over there. Look at all those. Look at all those ones. The branch you're sitting on is the dead one, too. I'm, I'm not really sitting on it too much. Okay. And she's Beat that thing, sissy. Come on. We're all dependent on you, sissy. We're gonna starve in the jungle. Got one! Yay! The babies are crying from hunger. You have to get some fruit, Roxy. I would not survive in the morning country. My hands cut up with food. Just last the one that's close to try to cover you. Dang it. Can't do it. What if we give you a machete and you chop the branch? Oh, that's a horror one. This trip is terrible. 
Got it! Oh! Yeah, I think maybe so. Unless you want to go out on that limb that actually has fruit. All right, you can come down. Says he's coming down. Grab this. Here. I'm not sure to brag, but I am the monkey. You're the one that got half a bucket of grapefruit. I can eat one. <laughs> All right, let's go home. Hey, Dad, I got grapefruit. Pick, pick up the pieces. She's made her contribution. Riley. Riley. There you are. 